Glossier. All right, so I'm with uh, Calvin, and one of our clients brought in a uh, what he did not know as a fake, a fake, uh, fake driver from uh, from Callaway, and th this is just um, uh, this is what he brought in here, and uh, we're just kind of going over the details of what makes it fake and what doesn't. But um, so 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 show me a little bit about what one of the uh, biggest things on, on fake drivers, the paint jobs normally not as good as a regular one. If you can look at this one, I don't know if the camera's going to pick one. that up. Yep. It's a lot glossier. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it's, I mean, it's just, it's just painted bad. I mean, you can look at the lines, things like that. It's just not as clean. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to look right here, look at the 10.5 on both of those. Look at the stamp. The indention on, on the real one and the indention on the real one is not as clean. I mean, basically just the quality of the make is just not going to be as high. Uh, if you look out here, this has a bore-through marking and a metal barrel and then you look on the real one it's obviously plastic and no bore through at all mm -hmm. and uh you want to look at the face the shelf signs a little bit different it's a fake one. Uh -huh. and uh generally it's hard to tell on the internet but once you put one side by side it's extremely obvious a lot of times it's very obvious to, to tell which one's fake which one's real oh and it's too you can see that the uh the syrup the little serial number there. Yeah, they fake the serial number. They fake number. the serial number and that code on there. And you can see the real one here. The serial number is straight and um, and that code there. But the 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 big takeaway here is, and you can just really see how that light is just popping off that that fake one on the left. But the big takeaway here is to the the only way you can really prevent from uh, from getting a fake. Is one just know that any good deal is too good to be true, and two, only authorized dealers um, like us. And, you know, really just only buy from authorized dealers. You know, we're an authorized dealer of Callaway and uh, Ping and Tylus, Taylor Bait. Everything that we we sell you guys is is real, straight up gear. Although we have really great prices, so um, that that's really the only way to prevent from buying fake gear. And this guy brought it in and. He was pretty upset about it, right? I mean, he was. He didn't, yeah. He didn't even realize it was fake initially, until we uh, tried to reshaft it and realized that you can't. I mean, we could have reshafted it, but it wasn't the right thing. We thought we were pulling the shaft out, you know, about two two and a half inches out the club head. We pulled it out; it was in there about three fourths of an inch. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, it's not a very good fake. Uh, but there are some very good fakes out there, and and this in and what we're showing you is is that as Calvin said, not a very good fake. But there are some very good fakes out there that can actually, um, you know, just re very it would really affect your gameplay, and 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 you could be saying, man, you know, I've got you got got some lessons, and you maybe your friends are playing with the same gear, and you're wondering maybe why it's not playing as well, and um, could be just that it's fake. And anyways, um, that that's a good takeaway. Just wanted to to say, you know. Uh, Again, the only way you can not not get um, brought into to buying a fake is to buy from an authorized uh, retailer like us, Gamesfield Play, gpbgolf.com. Thanks, Calvin.